title is Women Reject Gender-Based Violence in Situations of Crisis. <clears throat> the, uh, in the first, um, the definition between sex and gender. Sex is penitentiation or division of two sexes that are biologically determined to be attached to a particular sex and something that is biological, natural, and cannot change. But gender is the situation in which individuals born biologically as men and women who then obtain social characteristics as men and women through the attributes of masculinity and femininity that are often supported by the values or systems and symbols in the society concerned. And gender is social, social construction of sex becomes a role in social behavior. And the difference between sex and gender, sex is biologically since birth can't change universal and same from time to time. But gender is shaped by social or nurture, can change, different in every culture, and different from time to time. There are six gender injustice. Discrimination, subordination, stereotype, double burden, marginalization, violence, um, physical abuse, psychological violence, sexual assault, sociological violence, spiritual violence, and economic violence. Gender equality. Gender equality is a state where men and women are educated. Parallel here, parallel here is to claim um, human rights and share in um, participating in political, legal, economic, social, cultural activities, education, and national defense and security and to assist in enjoying the result. And gender justice is one of the same and fair agreements between men and women. The indicator of gender success and gender approval can be seen from no difference to male or females. Gender equality is characterized by the absence of discrimination between women and men. And so they have access, share opportunities, control over development and benefit equally from development. There are four gender equality indicator, access, participation, control, and benefit. In access, um, opportunities or change in obtaining or using certain resources. For example, in the education of learners is access to scholars scholarships for advanced education for female and uh, male learners given fair and equal or not. And participation is the sharing or uh, participation of a person or a group in an activity and women and men um, involved in decision making. Situations and field findings, the impact of disaster, the vulnerability and capacity of different women and men. Um, after the disaster, six months passed, I um, make a focus group discussion with the women in a temporary shelter. And then um, most of them said, some of us moved to other villages for whatever work from labor, <laughs> To see again essentially to money and others and the others say the bathrooms hardly closing and we're showering fast change of clothes every three days very difficult gaps before disaster refugee 40.5 percent of refugees are farmers and fishermen 54 percent vulnerable child marriage in Central Sulawesi is a number three in Indonesia. And toddler stunting, 37% over national numbers in 2014. Maternal chronic energy deficiency, 15.2% over national numbers. And access to sanitation, 40, 50, 59% 0.2% had access to sanitation. Sanitation in rural 
areas is poor and decision making 45 members of the provincial representative council only seven women of the 1919 village heads only 84 women this is the data from central sulawesi civil service and civil registry records Beginning of response and afterward, the special needs of women and resources to meet the special needs of women and special groups, people with HIV AIDS are limited and poorly distributed. Healthcare and quality haven't come back. And water and living, there's not enough fresh water. Temporary shelter and refugee haven't met the minimum standards and protection. Farmer and fishermen, urgently to work again gender roles and decision-making changes, and women's burden increases. GBV or gender-based violence, indications of GBV are increasing. GBV management mechanisms are unknown. Child marriage is still a threat. Stereotypes and resistance to minority groups. As we know, after the disaster, uh, some of the minority group like LGBTQ, um, some of people uh, assume that a disaster happen because of uh, LGBT and that is the huge challenge. Access information, not yet with the necessary information, didn't get a disaster education. It's not uh, on our organization too, um, a disaster education is the new issue. Um, we are a victim and we are a survivors but in the same time we have to respond to the situation. And we are learning by the process. Access to decision-making. Women, youth, and the elderly don't engage in decision-making in a temporary living and village. Challenges. We are facing so many challenges about uh, gender-based uh, violence. First, GBV is a sensitive issue that is often considered a private issue and a lot of undocumented, actionable, and resolved events. Non-serious gender-based types of uh, violence are often not treated as uh, serious. Serious gender-based types of violence like sexual harassment, rape, are not discussed openly. Survivors and their families refuse to um, report incidents of GBV or underreported. And the second challenge is the lack of consciousness and understanding of GBV and women's rights. Less awareness and, under and understanding make the incidence of GBV normal. And this impacts family and community responses and reactions, not helping the survivors and in increasing the vulnerability of GBV survivors. Lack of awareness also results in breeding in uh, GBV behaviors that encourage case escalation of both uh, the number of events and the intensity of the shapes and effects of violence. And the third challenge is GBV in times of emergency has not been a priority in the management of refugee camps, the provision of infrastructure, a relief through rehabilitation and reconstruction, planning pace, so the risk of GBV is not covered in the first place. And gender-based handling mechanisms and reference to cases of disproportionate violence need to be restarted. Recommendation. Recommendations um, regarding GBVE. There are audits to ensure that factors leading to female vulnerabilities in shelters can be minimized. The importance of public education or increased public awareness of women's rights, women's health, including reproductive health, GBV, GBV prevention that society can take, GBV treatment mechanisms, women in disaster mitigation. Humanitarian management includes transparent and accountable living guarantees, not discriminating against female household heads, teenage women, elderly women, and women's group with disabilities. The importance of the existence of women's friendly space early on humanitarian intervention in disaster situations is the first entrance for women or girls to gain protection 
for the rights of GVV. The importance of preserving good initiative at the, at the community level for women's rights protection from GVV and encouraging the learning of this good initiative for other communities and encourage the inclusion of all parties, including men and teenage boys in the GBP prevention effort in the emergency that drive gender bias change norms at the community level through education and public awareness. Gender-based prevention and violence management efforts, the availability of tents or women's friendly spaces. In my organization, in Sikola Mombine, we built uh, two women's friendly spaces which we call Rumah Sampurwa Mombine. Sampurwa Mombine is a local uh, local language, Kaili language, which is uh, Sampurwa is is mean uh, French and Mombine means women. The availability of women movers or the women's friendly spaces volunteers. The availability of psychosocial support assistance, complaints and referrals. Village learning center coordination and relation to ten service or reproductive health post, the female rights protection and reproductive health sub-activation, gender integration of development into rehabilitation and reconstruction, women's capacity reinforcement, gender like gender-based prevention and violence treatment, training loan-based facilitators for GBV cases, care for caregivers, strengthening reference mechanism and managing cases of GBV, awareness, outreach for GBV cases, advocacy and coordination, protection from sexual exploitation and abuse for the accountability of workers or humanitarian organizations. Thank you. This is the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Noor. Wow, wow a, a very comprehensive and detailed look at the issues around gender-based violence um, and lots and lots of ideas in there, recommendations of how we deal with the challenges. I'm sure that people have got responses to that or, and or questions that they'd like to ask. People can raise a hand digitally or physically um, if they'd like to add a comment or a reflection 